Hey guys, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm doing something totally different. I am going to be showing you how to tie-dye synthetic fabric. So this is my first ever non-baking episode and the reason I decided to do this is because I actually tie-dyed some of my workout clothes and I loved how they turned out. And surprisingly on YouTube, there are hardly any tutorials on how to tie-dye like polyester or nylon. There's tons out there for cotton, which I'm also probably gonna do because I have that kit coming, I'm just waiting for it. But there's really like just nothing out there when you wanna tie-dye um, like a workout set or a dress. So I did um, quite a bit of research and those sets that you guys can get um, that are like really popular right now, like the like tulip um, tie-dye sets, um, those actually are just for natural fabrics and if you try them on synthetic it just makes like a very light stain or it like completely washes out. So what I found out is you need to get specific dye for those types of fabric and you guys can see I'm using Rit Dye More. This one's really popular and the colors I'm going to be using um, are Royal Purple and Graphite and to be honest these are like the only ones in stock on Amazon that didn't take like a month but I like both colors so it works out. And the items that I'm going to be showing you how to tie-dye today, um, so this is my favorite. Um, this is a white workout set and I got it on Amazon and these actually they weren't a set, um, I made them a set and the important thing to know if you guys are going to do this is your fabrics need to match. Um, so for example, these are both 84% um, um, nylon and then 16% elastic. Um, but you guys are gonna see like if you get your own workout set or workout clothes, um, a lot of them are polyester. So just make sure your fabric content matches. So you might have to do a little research there. And the other item I'm sacrificing for tie-dye is this dress and I'm not kidding I probably have had this since honestly like 2013 or 2014 um, I wore it for my husband who was then my boyfriend um, his birthday like years ago um, and this is polyester so these are mostly nylon and this is a hundred percent polyester so we are going to need some supplies before we start tie-dyeing so of course we need lots of our bands I ordered these on Amazon like Amazon you can find everything um, and then we are going to need a little bit of dish soap and then I definitely recommend a spoon and some tongs. I'm going to be using a roasting pan later, so I have two for each item. Um, and then you can see on the stove I have two big pots of water. They're not boiling, they're like simmering because you have to use um, really hot water, like about 200 degrees. I actually use a candy thermometer um, because I'm a baker and I have one. Um, but basically like it just just right before it gets to a rolling boil. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my leggings first and another thing that's really important that you have to know is all of these were pre-washed um, So everything was pre-washed this morning um, Because you want to get like if there's any finishes or anything like that off the fabric So I'm gonna use what they call the crumple method. It's like very popular right now um, and so I'm just going to start by crumpling the fabric and as I go, I'm going to rubber band it. There's no like rhyme or reason to this. It's just to keep the crumpling together. There are lots of techniques for tie-dyeing fabric. Um, there's like the twist method or like the folding, but I feel like the crumple is like really in right now and is what I was wanting. Um, the reason I discovered this was because I really wanted a tie-dye workout set. And so they were either all like sold out or I just felt like too expensive for what they were. And I was like, I can make that myself. So I did. So something you should know is the more rubber bands you use, the more white is gonna show on the fabric. So now I'm just putting a lot of rubber bands in to like really secure the shape. And now I'm going to do the sports bra the same way. So I'm just crumpling my fabric. Just 
one's like a little bit harder because there's like hardly any material. So now we're gonna do our dress and same thing. I'm just gonna gather and rubber band. So now I have all three of my pieces that are bundled and rubber banded, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to prepare our water. So when we are dyeing or tie dyeing synthetic fabric, you have to use the boiling water method. Um, like the most popular that you guys have probably seen is like the squirt bottles and you just kind of squirt it. Um, but for whatever reason, this fabric needs that hot water. So I have a huge pot of boiling water here and a huge pot on the stove because I'm doing two different colors. And something that is important is whatever you are going to be dyeing has to be able to fit into your pot. So like you can't do like a bedspread or something like that. Um, where like other methods, you can actually do it in the washing machine. You can't use the washing machine for this because the water just doesn't get hot enough. So the water is hot, it's about 200 degrees. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to prepare it. So we actually need to put a teaspoon of just soap into the pot. So add that in. And then we're going to shake our bottle, make sure it's well shaken. And we need to add about half of this or so, like basically until we get the color that we want. So I'm adding less than half. I'm gonna see if I like this color. And we wanna make sure that our pieces are completely submerged. So I'm gonna go ahead and dunk this in. And my sports bra. So nylon takes the color faster um, than polyester. That's what the direction said. So I'm gonna do this for probably between 20 and 30 minutes. And then my polyester dress I'm gonna do with the stove, I'm gonna keep in for an hour. So I can see this color is really pretty, but it, it becomes much lighter when you wash it out. So final product is not gonna be this dark. So I'm gonna just let this um, kind of simmer for about half an hour, stirring occasionally, and I'm gonna go start preparing my other color. So this has been cooking for half an hour and I'm ready to take these out. So I'm just gonna carefully And now I'm going to rinse these out in the sink. So first I'm going to rinse this out with warm water. I'm gonna start with warm and then I'm going to rinse it with cold um, until the water runs clear. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to be taking off the rubber bands. So the gray dress is ready, and so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take it out of the pot, and I'm gonna rinse it out with warm water, switching to cool until it runs clear and taking off the rubber bands. All right, so these are rinsed out, and I'm so excited to show you guys. So these are still wet, and they do have to be washed, so they are darker than what they're actually gonna be. But you can see sports bra, super cute. So we have our leggings, turned out really cute. And then we have our gray dress. I love this, it looks like marble to me. So again, this one is going to be lighter. Oh, it's really heavy. So now I'm gonna wash the different colors separately and we just have to wash them on warm and then dry them normally. And then I will show you guys the final product. I'm so excited. All right, so my clothes have been washed and dried and I am so excited to show you guys how they turned out. Look how cute these are. And the nylon actually didn't fade as much as I thought it was going to. Um, so cute, no need to buy a tie-dye set. You guys can definitely make them yourself. Um, and the dress also looks adorable. So the dress did fade a little bit more, but I was expecting that. So this is the graphite color. Um, 
But yeah, I'm super happy with how these turned out. There is one other tip that I do want you guys to be aware of. If you guys do your tie dye and you wash it out and you, you realize like, oh, maybe there's a little bit more white than you would have liked, you can actually just redo it again. Um, like do, redo the dyeing process maybe for a little bit less. Um, just banding areas that are a little bit white so that you guys can get those again. So I thought that would be helpful to know. So if you guys came to my channel because you were searching DIY tie-dye, um, definitely check out my other baking videos because I have a ton of them and I think you'd like it. And if you normally come here for my baking and you found me doing tie-dye, um, let me know if you like seeing something different and don't forget to put some ideas in the comments. And I hope that you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel.